to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. See there that Matthias, Matthias was not out of the 12 people Jesus chose. He did not choose Matthias to be the 12. Is that true? Yes. But the people came and said, because someone has created a vacuum in destiny, we must pray and say, Lord, we cannot allow this vacuum be like that. Let someone fill that vacuum. May nobody replace you in the name of Jesus Christ. The position and the place that God has earmarked for you. I'm saying it again. May God not wait and wait and wait and wait and find out that that vacuum is there destroying others, other people's destinies, wasting that God will have to take someone and replace you. I rebuke that thing from your life in Jesus' name. Nobody will take your bishopric. In the name of Jesus. Can I tell you the truth? There are people on earth today that the assignment they are living today is not the original script for them. They were so faithful in their own, God still added the assignment of unfaithful people and multiplied grace upon their lives. It is true that a man can start, this is the course of destiny that God prepares for you. But because of the unfaithfulness and unseriousness of another person, do you know that if you do not live out purpose and destiny, everybody whose destiny was connected to you will also have to wait. And God will not punish innocent people because of your refusal to rise. So God will have to look for a willing vessel. And where there is no willing vessel, he will find somebody who is already walking and say, can I trust you and give you a greater anointing and still measure a thousand cubits for you? Because in these end times, you will see people who are serving tables later become evangelists. And you are wondering what happened. What is the relationship between welfare and the crusade ground? The person was doing his assignment in welfare very well. But the person who should be in that crusade ground was wasting his time. And God said, I cannot delay. I can't punish people like this. I can't allow souls to be dying. Whereas the person with that mantle is not rising. You will see an ordinary person working in the welfare department, just prophetically speaking, carry an anointing that was not in the original script of his life. Every man was born for a reason. Fact number two, your destiny is predetermined by God, but it will take your choices and your decisions to enter into the experience of it or to miss out in it and sadly destiny can be aborted destiny can be aborted keys let me give you the keys now I'm going to give you six of them then I will teach on something very very powerful that I believe is an explanation to many people's seasons in destiny and then we'll pray if God is blessing you already say amen. amen before I continue I'd like you to lay your hands on your head and say Lord I'm still available if for any reason something about my life is beginning to make you rethink your confidence about me I am asking oh God that I am still available by your mercy I am still available someone pray I am still available I am still available I am still available I still can be trusted for someone you may be praying and say Lord in spite of everything wasting my time and wasting my years I am still available may your mercy still give me a chance to life Lord if you're healing 
someone in this nation don't do it without me don't do it without me lord if you're lifting someone in this nation don't do it without me ah. don't do it without me lord if you're raising someone in this nation don't do it without me is someone still praying one minute you are laying your hands on your head and say father nothing will take my place in life i will not stand to watch another person fulfill my assignment because of unfaithfulness because of carelessness i intend to fulfill that which is in the volume of the book for me in the name of jesus the son of the living god please sit down and write lend your destiny your attention now i want to give you six keys really about seven number one are you ready the first key if you want to fulfill your glorious destiny in christ the first non-negotiable key is discovery you have to discover and find your place you must find your place and you must be very aware of god's prophetic blueprint for your life hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7 let's walk with a few scriptures media let's walk together hebrews 10 7 lo i come in the volume of the book as it is written of me to do thy will O god so where do you find where it was written concerning you in the volume of the book apostle where do i find it it is written concerning you in the volume of the book if you throw away the book You've thrown away the revelation of your destiny too. You throw away the book. You throw away the revelation of your destiny. Where do we find our destinies in Christ? It is in the volume of the book. Are we together? Very powerful. Proverbs chapter 25 and verse 2. Proverbs 25 and verse 2. Let's read it together. Very powerful scripture. Ready? One to read. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings to search out a matter. Everybody say search out. Mm, that it is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings to search it out. How do I find my destiny? Search it out. You search it out with scripture. This is very powerful. There are three principal channels as revealed from scripture that reveal our place of destiny and purpose in life. There are many but three principles. Number one, the word of God, like I said, the volume of the book, the word of God. Number two, your abilities and your giftings. Please write it down. Your abilities and your giftings are pointers to your purpose and pointers to your destiny your abilities and your giftings and can i be sincere with you every time you do not connect your gift and your ability to purpose satan is going to use it everybody you see who satan is using mightily it is god's gift in that person satan is using it's not like satan gave the person the gift satan found a very effective tool in the life of that person but not connected to purpose generally speaking you see anything that is not connected to purpose does not have value in itself the value of anything is with respect to its connection to purpose and destiny so just obtaining things and not connecting them to purpose 
will only be acquisitions that will lead to futility it must be connected to purpose is someone learning you find your place in destiny number one from the word of god you find your place in destiny number two by examining your abilities and your giftings there's something god has put from within your spirit that should be used david your ability to sling and to throw the sling with uncanny mastery is not just a a hobby uh -uh. The, the courage is giving you to be able to tear the lion and the bear is not for nothing your music acumen the ability to be able to sing keep it because one day you will write psalms and hymns and even spiritual songs listen you must make a commitment tonight that everything God has put within me I must identify it it is amazing how that so many people have not taken the time to carefully and gratefully search out the many valuable abilities and giftings that God has put within their spirit anytime you do not discover your giftings and the things that are valuable within you you know what Satan will do he would make you feel less of yourself and you will begin to admire people that you do not even have who do not even have the the components of value that is within you there is nobody who does not have an ability from god hallelujah is someone learning very powerful one of our one of our little ones came the other time i think i was teaching in school of ministry and something very interesting happened the young lady came to me and she came and tapped me and said that they were listening to my message and she told my she told her mother that apostle is not pronouncing purpose well that is purpose not purpose i was watching the girl i said oh dear you see now my mind i said all right so may god raise her to become a public speaker or become a woman of god i mean she's already there if at that age so she came and she was trying to she was trying to correct me to let me know that this is how they pronounce it properly i said ah these are the people who went to school now <laughs> are we together let me tell you where most of you buried your giftings it came because of the tragedy of your foundation did you hear what I said? The tragedy of an inaccurate foundation. Some of the giftings that were finding expression, it was the Holy Spirit revealing them to let those around us know that this noise-making ability is not just talkativeness. There is something in it. It's been mismanaged. But this is a baby revealing something. There were children with different abilities that if parents had the discernment to identify. Did you know that is the awareness of these giftings that should help the parents direct the children eventually on what they should study or become? Unfortunately, many people bury their gifts to be able to honor the desire of parents. And I'm saying this respectfully so. There are people who are wallowing in destiny with certificates and degrees and several qualifications and there is nothing in it that is related to purpose and destiny. Some of the people you see that excel, even academically, in many cases, those people found themselves either by favor or just pure luck practicing and studying things that are in sync with the abilities that are within them so it's like a fish swimming in water but there are people who are beds but they've suffocated you in water and say you must stay there some of you the pain of your childhood some of you all kinds of things that have happened to you poverty suffering has buried away potentials but in the name of jesus if lazarus could come forth i speak to that dormant gift i speak to that ability that man of god that prophetess that entrepreneur that leader joseph that king that queen in the name of jesus you must come back to life now you must come back to life now please sit down only God knows how many authors are dead within you who should write books that will mentor nations. Only God knows how many people 
potentials locked up. Some of us, because of our backgrounds, someone, some person, somewhere, even if well-intentioned, continue to minister to you that you do not have the power to become that which God has designed for you and you believed it. Some of us, respectfully speaking, the kinds of schools we went to and the teachers around us, they used maybe your academic gradings and they began to call you names that made you to permanently bury your giftings. Can I tell you? your giftings and your abilities a gentleman last week i think he was and i've received so many i don't know how many of my photos they do portraits they do all kinds of things with my photos and and i'm so grateful for the people who are thoughtful to have done that and a gentleman he came in i think from kaduna state i was just praying for people here and then this guy i think it's almost the size of this 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 uh, pulpit very beautiful he he drew it with his hand and i mean you it's it's about it should be it should be arguably one of the best portraits of myself that i've seen and yet this guy just presented it to me and i said my god and there are many 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 people who will pay millions of naira to someone if they can find a person who does this but you will be surprised almost all the people within that person's family they just know that he's carelessly doing something do you know let me tell you africa we must wake up the 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 spirit that makes us to destroy great visions at infancy i curse that spirit in jesus name <laughs> hallelujah discovery so number one the word of God helps you to discover your place, your purpose, your destiny. Number two, your abilities and your giftings. Inherent abilities. Write them down. Know them. Number three, service. One of the most powerful channels and platforms to find your place in destiny is service. Even service in the house of God. There are many people today who may not really know what it is that is within them until service gives them an opportunity to reveal it. Is someone learning? Very, very important. Number two, let's hurry up. What is the second key if you want to actualize destiny? Are you ready? Determination. Don't downplay these keys you are receiving. Many have trivialized it to the detriment of their destinies determination you must be determined to succeed what is determination unbendedness in pursuit that means i am not giving up until i see my destiny become what god showed me in that vision you may weep but please don't stop till you look just like him you may cry Please don't stop till your life looks like him. You may weep, but please don't stop till your life looks like him. You may fall, but please don't stop till you look just like him. Determination. Philippians chapter 3, please, and verse 13. Unbendedness in pursuit. That means you have set your face like a flint. 313 Philippians. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, he says, but this one thing I do. You know people of purpose and destiny because at every point in their life there is the one thing they are doing. People who do too many things, they are not just busy bodies. Sometimes doing too many things is a revelation of purposelessness. This one thing I do, forgetting those things that are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I love this. Next verse. It says, I press. This for me is the definition of determination. I press towards the mark. I press towards the mark. I press towards the mark. 
that means nothing will stop me if God has said there is an entrepreneur God has said there is a man of God God has said there is a worship minister to sing his praises to the nations then I press towards the mark can I tell you determination requires courage because for the most part of your journey you will be alone don't expect people to believe in you at the infancy of your vision and don't blame them if they don't believe in you it is at the end the vision speaks so for the most part of your journey to purpose and destiny you will walk alone but find comfort that though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death he says i fear no evil for thou not for you people for thou there is just one person you need to verify is he here with me apostle i'm unable to rise because nobody believes in me you are not alone keep moving Apostle, but I think people like you. When did they start liking me? You go and find out. There is nobody who they start liking and clapping for at the beginning. Every vision looks like a failure from the beginning. It takes determination. Your determination will force failure to become success. So don't think it is anything special happening to you. Apostle, this ministry is not working. Whose own do you think worked? People forced it to work. members don't come to my church <laughs> my brother you need to have determination by the spirit of god all this free lunch mentality is why we don't have champions in the kingdom a crave for sympathy and endorsement you must sustain the courage to walk alone but when you win i assure you you will not clap alone can i tell you this there are few people in life who will be around those who are starting they are called burden bearers and if you've read your bible they are not many that's why i told you to pray for them but i'm telling you you must trust the holy spirit as the chief burden bearer and be sure that if he is there fire on do you know what determination is if i perish i perish many of us have plan b plan c plan to plan z you will not be able to go forward that way winners are people who don't have plan b lord i've set my hand on this floor and i will press determination apostle but they are laughing at me most of the people who are laughing at you will be your strongest witnesses when you become great because they will say we saw it i don't like this man but i can tell you i saw him can I tell you this? I'm praying tonight that God will take away this chicken heart of fear. Fear of what people will say. What will people say? Take that thing away and you need a lion's heart if you want to be great. Whether you are Jesus or Satan, people will talk. They talk about Jesus, they talk about Satan. Who are you that you, you are in between somewhere? Whether you backslide, whether you maintain your work, they will still talk about you. Listen, we live in a world that is so obsessed with, it's, it's important to preserve your integrity and all of that, but let me tell you the truth. Don't allow yourself to become a slave to people's opinion. What does God desire for my life? And you fire on. I know God has called me to be a man of God. And someone looks at you and says, now nah, for you, you preach a sermon and for the first time I slept in church. No problem. Let him mock you. Accept it as a positive challenge. Don't fight everybody. You accept it and move forward and say, no problem. After all, Peter too. They tried to pray for somebody and remember what happened? But the time came, his shadow. Everybody said determination. Can I tell you the truth? Get away from that theology that makes you believe that if God is with you, it is just free lunch all the way. Uh -uh. You've heard, it's a popular saying in the body of Christ and it's been so for many years, that faith does not just make things easy. The assignment of faith is to make things possible, not easy. Whether it is easy or not, provided it becomes possible, that is the assignment of faith. Everybody said determination. Now lay your hands on your head again. Don't be tired this night or you are praying. Father, I obtain grace. This fear factor, 
oh god take it out of my life give me the heart of a lion in the name of jesus who said you cannot build the house in the name of jesus who said you cannot move from a tenant to a landlord in the name of jesus who said it is in your destiny to suffer for the rest of your life who said you cannot rise to the highest peak in your career who said you cannot become a man of god with results don't let your lack of determination cooperate with naysayers you need determination will you fail yes sir how many times as many as your destiny will require but you have to obtain grace god is speaking to someone tonight shake off that limitation shake off the excuses i obtain grace to be determined hallelujah god bless you please sit down go and ask any great man you know today whether in the secular whether in ministry if they are honest enough and they don't want to lie or just flatter you they will tell you uneasy lies the head that wears the crown are we together many of us are too fearful to do anything significant you've been in this abuja i know we're talking destiny but let it adds up to all of these things you've been in this abuja 10 years 20 years you've not had the courage to go out and even go and look where a plot of land is and you laugh at yourself and say no 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 let me tell you if you don't take that step of courage i'm sorry to say it, i don't mean to insult you but you will die a tenant believe me it takes courage the signs follow they don't go before most of you who are waiting for things to walk there are times you have to close your eyes and walk on that water so what if you fall jesus is there he would take responsibility for your obeying him everybody say determination there are many people who come to me for prayer and most times and lovingly speaking I look at these people and they expect some magic to happen just because apostle is praying no. many of you your dreams have been in notebooks for decades and you have left it there and to your shock you will watch somebody leaving it out and you'll be angry and say, ah, ah, is this not the thing because it's not only you that saw it when the spirit of revelation was distributing those things his first confess have ah, but i saw this business idea what did you do about it someone saw it and got up and said listen i don't have a father mother but i have the lord jesus and let's go determination let me tell you something believers and i we men of god must take responsibility for proposing that kind of message we have taught a there is a dimension of the teaching of faith and the ministry of the Holy Spirit that needs to be balanced when you are teaching people about achievement because of the excellency of the personality of the Holy Spirit and and the the how how powerful the law of faith is we make it look as if the moment you take a step and you are determined if you do fail it is because God is not with you let me tell you this even if an angel appears before you and says I have ordained you to be a real estate champion in Abuja receive the grace you can fall down and roll under the anointing and get up and your first deal can be because there are many things you don't know your first deal can even be a scam and yet you go to God in prayer and God says I, I don't even know what you are talking about all I know is that what I said is still what I've said many believers have this superstitious belief that just because you fail people will come and say this business did you really hear god and you go back in shame and you go back in regret there is difference between failure as an event and failure as a person he says rejoice not over me my enemies it is true that jesus died but for how many days did he die don't talk about the dead jesus when he's already back to life imagine that jesus rose up from the grave and sat there inside the inside the tomb and says i'm angry because everybody ran away from me you better come and carry me out of this place i don't know how many days would have been counting for redemption as soon as he came back to life he had no time the bible said he rolled the grave clothes and he had he had what to do 
he didn't see the disciples and say you guys three days i suffered i was in that tomb alone he had no time for that discussion let me tell you this determined people don't weep for too long if they go through something they can stand learn from it readjust and fire on determined people are those that if one door closes they force another door to open listen don't just don't just be excited for nothing this is what it takes to be a champion in the kingdom determination apostle right now i'm in school i don't have a father i don't have a mother where will my school fees go from just read your book start from there read your book if you don't read and the school fees comes two weeks to the exam you will still fail even though the miracle has come do the part you can do and leave god to do what you cannot do god will not do what you can do i don't have the money to buy the land but do you know where the land is that one does not require money Is God challenging you? Apostle, I'm just waiting. I don't know who will give me money. Oh, let me build my church. <laughs> who will give you money? Do you need money to fast? Do you need money to pray? Do you need money to call upon the name of the Lord? Do you need money to carry fire? Start from there leave the issue of bills start from there solve fire first the fire problem then the bill problem will be solved number three is god speaking to someone so that respectfully speaking some of this wrong understanding we have about destiny that just because you are in christ you will just be a bed of roses is why many many believers are failures we pray in tongues but we still fail and let me tell you when you see somebody in a season of pain and failure don't be too quick to point hands and laugh at the person and say you didn't hear God even if the person did not hear God he honorably felt in that pain God will come in his mercy and visit the person number three who is learning tonight? So the first is discovery. The second is determination. The third, are you ready? Go for knowledge. Get wisdom. You want to actualize destiny? Thank God for discovery. Thank God for the determination. The willingness to press in spite of but you need knowledge destiny is knowledge driven destiny is knowledge driven oh this is very important this is very important ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15 three scriptures quickly please give it to us ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 15 ready please read one to read the labor of the foolish weary at every one of them why because he knoweth not how to go to the city not because there is no path to the city it is painful to see your destiny and yet not know the requisite level of knowledge every result i have taught you in the kingdom every pathway you need to take there is a requisite level of knowledge wisdom that it takes for you to actualize it now let me tell you the truth it is in this area of accessing knowledge that men are separated from boys because knowledge is not a gift you buy the truth it will cost you we live in a world where we are obsessed with gifts give it to me make it happen why don't you write all the points for my destiny and come and spoon feed me with it unfortunately it does not work like that everybody say buy the truth you must go for knowledge very very important proverbs chapter 24 please from verse 3 and 4 still on the third point go for knowledge 
get wisdom the bible says through wisdom please give us amplified i love the rendition of amplified of this very scripture proverbs 24 3 and 4 look up please it says through skillful and godly wisdom is a house a life a home a family built and by understanding it is established on a sound and a good foundation next verse through knowledge and by knowledge shall its chambers of every area be filled with all precious and pleasant riches somebody say knowledge say understanding say wisdom the major the major activity during the preparatory phase of your destiny will be this right there getting wisdom getting knowledge your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and i will forever sing your praise your spirit opens to me the treasures of your word and i will forever sing your praise can i tell you this the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1, it says, Through desire, a man, having separated himself, that he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. You need to go for knowledge. Buy books before shoes. Get knowledge before you start getting the adorning of clothes. It is painful to look great and yet be empty unfortunately unfortunately we live in a world today that does not mind people can be as empty as a keg and yet you decorate it and it looks so full i rather look i rather look carry a physical fashion that makes you underestimate me and then be full and rich within than to look so successful and visionary and then when you come in you find out that it's an empty gong someone shout god forbid. god forbid can i tell you this you need to invest in knowledge you don't invest in knowledge in a hurry you need to sit down what does it take oh god you are giving me a global ministry as a man of god a global prophetic ministry a global pastoral ministry yes lord i have received it but a global ministry comes with a global burden i need wisdom spirituality leadership organization finances i need to understand this i obtain grace when others are snoring and sleeping away their destiny you are awake lord i obtain grace your eyes are sleepy it looks like two people are sitting on your eyes you shake it away and say no way i'm going far i obtain grace may the spirit of laziness be far from us in the name of jesus may the spirit the destiny destroying spirit of laziness may it be far from us there are many people who will tell you they want to be preachers they don't even read up to one hour per week I'm telling you sincerely, even if there are no demons, you will still fail. <laughs> because demons are not the only, demons only account for about 20% or so of real failure. A major part of failure is ignorance or insufficient knowledge. I've taught you here, if you scored 35%, you didn't get zero and yet you still failed. Is that true? If the cutoff mark is 50 and you get 48, you didn't get zero, but you will still stand at the same place with those who got zero. Take away shame from your life by investing in knowledge. It is not good to look dull and be dull. Now, I'm not saying this mocking you. Knowledge is, a, is an equalizer. You may not come from a privileged family, I agree. You may not have a personal that is very inviting and you know, but let knowledge equalize you. It's a bailout system. Take away shame from your life and stop all the petty jealousy and sit down. 
go for knowledge i don't speak english very well i agree i may not be as beautiful or handsome as people would want to be i may not be like that celebrity but the one god gave you your brain is healthy use it in the name of jesus sit down buy books don't go online just browsing profitless things that will not i've told you this thing and i've said it with with the sincere heart of a shepherd not to pry into your privacy i am telling you most people the time if they take half the time they use roaming around social media in a profitless way and invest it in constructive knowledge i assure you by god they will not remain at that level some of you know what is happening in everybody's life except your own destiny that should not be are we together say i receive grace to go for knowledge apostle what do i learn about you see when you know where you are going you now find out those who are going that direction and you begin to study their mindsets and study the first kind of knowledge you need is the awareness of your current state that itself is a miracle do you know that if you if you are aware that you are in need that knowledge of your inadequacy is already a miracle are we together not knowing that you have a problem is a serious problem itself follow them who through faith and patience what did they study god has called you to be a kingdom financier you can be jumping till rapture happens and you miss out your assignment and even miss rapture if you are not careful and yet you they, you, you know we talk is cheap I, i'm saying this with with, with uh, i hope i hope i'm not um i, I hope we're still friends please sit down please sit down go back home and sit down carry your Bible and look for one book apostle I'm in ministry what book should I get even if you don't know it, at least go to a bookstore just roam around there and see Holy Ghost I'm now here I left my house and the Holy Spirit will take you somewhere I don't have money oh, at least search nobody will query you for searching around and somebody will come and say you look like a determined young man you are looking at that book it's a nice book i read it pick it up you get both a relationship and favor because you took a step go for knowledge till today i study like i don't know anything because truly without flattery with respect to where god is taking me there are many things i do not know and so i sit down and i study i study i study study to show yourself approved unto god is that in your bible a workman please let me tell you this if you are a man of god i submit to you with all due respect forget about you be ready for empty pews if you are not rich in knowledge the generation the world we live in today is the world of serious people a man will not carry his wife and children and their destiny and come and be part of your vision and sit down every week to listen to nonsense no people love you but they love their destinies nobody is ready to waste his time like that to travel from one nation to come and let me also challenge everyone career people please in the name of jesus go for knowledge go for knowledge find out what you don't know about and find out how to learn from it don't make the same mistake two times apostle i'm broke do you know how to be rich eh, listen to one message like that is it fair that you just carelessly listen to a 20 minute message and actually believe you should be a millionaire from it whereas people people who have been working even in the civil service for 30 years are still struggling to stand and you just cheapen life like that no there are many of us who do not know the real cost of being great 
we have downplayed the cost of greatness and reduced it just because of things like favor don't forget by the grace of God the person talking to you I understand favor wave laziness goodbye and force it to wave you back that you you stand in the name of Jesus some of you from this night gather if I come to your house I don't don't show me the cars and the houses those things are transitory let me see what you're doing with your mind let me see let you can be in that one room with that trouser that is as cheap as whatever with people laughing at you don't worry show me what you are doing and I can tell you where you are going there are many many young people in our nation who are not going anywhere they believe that destiny will just open up because of a bold face it takes more than that it takes capacity everybody say knowledge everybody say wisdom and can I tell you this in pursuit of destiny if God ever by any means makes the job easier for you by granting you access to the minds of those who know what they are saying please don't trivialize it listen don't sit down with a champion and be tampering the equation you are not there yet you don't have the results you see for some people it is not the absence of helpers or knowledge it is sheer pride Africa for instance you'll find people who have no result they are broke they are poor they are oppressed they have no anointing they have no influence yet they want to teach you on everything pertaining influence anointing prosperity let's respect results are we together when I sit in the presence of people who have what I do not have I don't argue even if I don't entirely agree I have to honor the presence of the results that is before me and listen number number four are you ready the fourth key spend time praying for your life and your destiny that is the fourth key you want to actualize destiny you must spend time invest time in fact that's the word invest time praying for your life and your destiny oh may God help you believe this thing I'm teaching in the name of Jesus Christ you must spend time praying for your life it's good to intercede I've taught you on intercession it's good to pray for people but there are times you have to honestly zoom the attention on you and your destiny and invest time generate energy praying for your life and praying for your destiny apostle but I thought you are praying for me I will continue to pray for you as a man of God but even Jesus is praying for you even for those who are suffering he's interceding for them too if you don't take responsibility over your destiny and pray till you tear off the gates listen especially for those of you if you come from a background where you know that you are the first to do what you are about to do you are the one who breaks the iron gate you better pray you better pray grandfather tried it and died grandmother tried it and died siblings tried it and died now you are the one that iron gate has never been broken you must pray the one who is grandfather or grandmother at least open part of the gate is just for him to finish opening it that one's life is easier for you there is a chain on it and there is a spirit holding the chain lord i will not fail in life days become weeks weeks become months what are you doing i am praying you are just lazying around don't call prayer lazying around there is vision and purpose connected to it somebody say i will pray one more time say i will pray matthew chapter 4 please from verse 1 this is jesus preparing to begin his ministry jesus was led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil the bible says next verse when he had what fasted 40 days and 40 nights you would think that because he was jesus he had already listen look at jesus he discovered already his place he was determined to fulfill it 
he had spent time getting knowledge from age 12 he was in the temple and you would think just because he had acquired knowledge it was over the bible says he prayed and fasted 40 days and 40 nights and not even hunger stopped him i don't know any great man i may be wrong i'm learning too but i don't know any great man especially in the kingdom and in ministry who cannot point seasons of his life where he fasted the kind of fast that even the devil will look with shock and say ah this person you have energy oh. and it's easier to fast when you have not made it yet that's why it's good to because all the distractions are less how much do you have that temptation will come you you focus and fast yes sir whether you fasted or not you were not even going to eat very well after all so you you use the opportunity you are praying giving yourself an excuse are we together mark chapter 1 please mark chapter 1 from verse 35 mark chapter 1 35 this was jesus after a busy day he had started ministry so we see him praying even before ministry would start now ministry started already and he was doing so well morning till night busy schedules and the bible says in the morning rising up a great while everybody said discipline hmm. he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed there prayed you must pray there are forces that will try to fight you from starting if they cannot succeed they will be waiting for you at the gate of honor so that they will bring you shame don't you think because you started the devil will fold his arms the bible said he left jesus for a season every great man here listen let me tell you if you think because you are great and everything is working everything is fine think again go and ask there is a skill that maintains greatness one of it is the consistent fortification of yourself with prayer people are praying for you but you must pray for yourself because when satan sees that you are high up there he will begin to scheme things to make sure because he knows that in your coming down is the coming down of many so instead of attacking two million people he will attack you there are battles that you have no business fighting but when you become great is a battle that must involve you please obtain grace to pray everybody say i will pray, I pray. apostle thank god me i'm not in ministry i'm just in business pray more the king of tyre is sitting where you are there that is his headquarters have you heard about tyre and sedon tyre and sidon you must pray the devil will not commit millions and billions to your hands when he knows that your heart is already inclined to the kingdom now go and ask people who practice occultism before they become wealthy they come under all kinds of oaths oaths with blood incisions to say listen these are the do's and don'ts as far as using this money is concerned you can't there are wealthy people today who cannot give you more than ten thousand they are not greedy it is based on the oath that brought that wealth to the point that even their physical parents or siblings can be in the hospital deathbed but they are not allowed to bring that money you think they are greedy it is the condition that was given to them that's why the bible says the blessing of the lord make it rich and adds no sorrow are we together spend time praying first thessalonians chapter 3 second thessalonians chapter 3 from verse 1 and 2 second thessalonians chapter 3 from verse 1 and 2 finally brethren pray for us that the word of the lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you verse 2 and that we be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men 
for all men have not faith do not assume that just because everybody is laughing at or laughing with you they mean you well this is a world that is full of wickedness the bible says this world is a habitation of cruelty are we together why must this family be rising why must this man of god be rising why must this sister be rising why must this politician be rising why must this career person be rising look at jesus innocently bringing glory to the father and a few people came together and said look we have to do something about this man he's stealing our show oh but prayer is powerful you can get into that control room and begin to make things he said has thou commanded thy morning please obtain grace to pray for your destiny in the name of jesus invest time praying invest time praying invest time praying don't pray out of fear pray as a not just as a principle of survival but your prayer will give room for you to dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.